Hey guys, what's going on? Troy at Mountain Man Trasher here, and things in the mountain over the weekend, we're moving pretty well. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. Welcome into the channel, guys. My name is Troy. I'm a reseller in Montana. I go to garage sales and estate sales and thrift stores. I buy stuff, and then I sell it online for profit. Mostly I'm doing that on eBay, and uh, eBay clearly up and down for a lot of people here in the last little bit, myself included. I've been really focusing over the last probably two weeks or so at making sure I'm getting a lot of new listings up. I've been listing at least 15 or so items a day in that ballpark. I don't, 15 is not a hard and fast number, but I'm trying to hit right around there every day. And I think it's uh, it's helping. You know, we've, we've pushed our listings now to over 2,100 and we've been selling and this weekend we sold pretty well so let's take a look at what moved out of the mountain cool stuff going to cool places i like this batch of sales here we've got a nike skateboarding t-shirt that's the nike sb and this thing brand new uh never, never been worn clearly it's very very clean 22 dollars 39 cents plus shipping Paid 50 cents. That's a winner. Then we got a couple of patterns, both going to the same person. We got that little guy, the Santa Bear stocking. And then we've got a gingerbread house ornament. And those $7.90 combined, plus the shipping, more of our patterns going out. Lots of money in there, just coming a little bit at a time. Here we've got a pocket fetal Doppler. Pretty cool. I've never uh, never seen one of these before out there, but the sell-through rate on them is ridiculous. And, hey, we just sold something else. Um, the sell-through rate on these is really, really high, and now I can't close it with one hand, but the pocket fetal Doppler has only been listed for uh, for about a week. I think not even a week. Twenty-eight dollars seventy-nine cents plus shipping. I think I paid five dollars for that. Here we've got a buck knife. I should probably take it out and show you what it looks like. This style is fantastic to find. Buck knives, good in general, but this is a fantastic style to find. It'll sell very well every time. Uh, bought this uh, about a week ago as well. And I think I paid, it was an estate sale, but it was 25% off when uh, when I stopped in. I, I think that's what the percentage was. I, I believe I paid $22 for this, and I sold it for $69 plus the shipping. Here we've got Disney's Seen It. Now, Seen It, for the most part, leave it there. You see it, you'll leave it. It, it doesn't sell. There are exceptions. Disney seen it is one of those exceptions. And this thing is still new and sealed. Fantastic sell through rate. Again, sold in under a week. I think I paid a dollar for this and I got $24.96 plus shipping. Back here, show you this. I don't want to forget. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers vintage action figure here. This is the uh, eye pop and eye guy from the evil space aliens line and uh, this is actually going to a viewer this is going to chris and chris picked this up for 25 bucks plus shipping go check out chris's store really cool stuff over there i paid eight dollars for this i uh, paid up for it um, but this was actually when we did our first vintage show this came from our neighbor the guy in the booth right next door to us, and uh, he helped us out a lot. I uh, wound up needing a light bulb for a blow mold, which certainly helped to sell it. He had an extra. He gave us that and just gave us some advice about how uh, the whole operation works. He does them all the time, and so I wanted to buy something from him, and I thought this was something that I could get and uh, flip and make a little bit of money on, and so eight bucks into 25, and it's going into Chris's collection. That's a, that, that's a win all the way around. I'm happy with it. This one, Again, one of those, you know, it does, a lot of them don't sell VHS tapes, right? Uh, clamshell, you know, a lot of times you see that for Disney and that sort of thing. But I think this was, was this 50 cents or a dollar 
I think at a uh, at an estate sale. It's the same estate sale where I got the Ninja Turtles and the Mermaid Barbie and the Little Mermaid, all that stuff. This was sitting out in the yard. And the reason I picked it up, one, Animaniacs is something to watch out for. Uh, there are a lot of good collectible, resellable Animaniacs things. It's new and sealed, right? So that's a good thing. But it's sealed and it's got a little toy with it. And they did this uh, for a time. There's a uh, there, there's a couple of them out there. Free Willy had one like this where they sealed the VHS and then they put a little deal inside the seal. Well, this still has the little toy in there. This is a relatively rare VHS tape anyway. Certainly it's rare new. And it's got the little toy, which is super cool. So it was either 50 cents or a dollar, like I said. And it sold in about two weeks. And it's actually going to North Pole, Alaska, which is pretty cool. $22.39 plus shipping for that. And then we've got one more thing. Didn't make a ton of money on this and knew I wouldn't. You can see right here, Firefighter. It's the Super Model A. This is an old fire extinguisher. And uh, this is one. I paid $20 for this, guys. Uh, though I did, this was, it's either two or maybe it's three weeks now. It might be pushing three weeks, but uh, I haven't had it listed for all that long. I thought it was cool. It still had some of the paperwork attached on the top. And uh, this sale was kind of overpriced, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to find a few things. And $20 into this, I was hoping I could get about 45 or so. And, uh, you know, essentially double my money on that. Of course, you got to take out fees and, you know, all that stuff. I didn't quite get there. I was getting a few low offers or lower offers anyway, and finally decided to take one. And uh, it's interesting because the, the offer was $40. So we're going to make a little bit, right? Not not a ton, not quite doubling our money. Probably, what, $16, 15 16 bucks profit, something like that. Um but what's interesting, this thing is headed to Australia, and it's heavy and oversized. I mean, it's empty, but it's got a, a, a bracket on the back to hang it on a wall, and so that's got some heft to it for sure. This thing is not going to go cheap internationally, but it's going internationally. It's headed to Australia, 40 bucks plus the buyer is paying $112 for priority international shipping, guys. That's pretty impressive, I think. Solid holiday weekend here at the mountain. This, not even all of it. Uh, we'll go over this and then I'll show you the stuff that I sent out early. We shipped out, uh, I think, nine things on Monday. Uh, well, at least made the labels for them. They, of course, didn't ship out with no mail. But when I can, I like to get stuff done early a little bit on holiday weekends. It saves me a little bit of packing at the end of it and easier to haul it all to the post office as well so a few easy things went out here's what sold through the rest of the weekend pets and pets too well we'll leave that because it's holding our picture up uh, this actually has a pretty solid sell through it, it sold in just a couple of days actually i was, I was kind of surprised uh just 2.99 plus shipping but still ridiculously easy money We've got a uh, Game Boy Pocket. I bought, it turned out, four different Game Boys and a handful of games. 25 bucks on Saturday. And this guy is sold for 40 plus shipping. Some tie-dye Crocs. Look at these things. They were tagged $10 at a sale last week or week and a half ago, whatever it is now. Uh, they're take 10 bucks and I asked it, you know, I said, Hey, I would take them for five. If not, that's okay. But if you want to get rid of them, I could do $5 on them. They took it. So five bucks for the Crocs is what I paid. And they sold for $14 72 cents plus shipping. So a little bit of profit left there. Nebraska, the Huskers, just your basic hat, nine ninety eight plus shipping for that. We've got another Christmas village embroidery set thing going out. I think that's embroidery. I don't know. One of our patterns, freestanding lace Victorian house. I took an offer of 15 bucks plus shipping for that. We'll come back around. Look at this thing. 
this is pretty cool. Old shell. I paid, I think, $2 for this at a garage sale. It just looked cool. No, you know, nothing like I typically sell, but, you know, I like, I like to try different things now and again. And I actually sold it. I took an offer on this guy of 16 bucks plus shipping. And we've got from Mego an old Micronaut. Got that on a Whatnot auction from uh, Jimmy. Old school flips, actually. And uh, it's been sitting around for a little while, waiting for the right buyer. But eventually, 30 bucks plus shipping. We'll take that. This guy was a surprise winner. 50 cents at a garage sale. It's pretty heavy, actually. He's supposed to have a stand. He's a, he's a break dancer. And actually, it does actually hold up when it's on the ground like that. And this, guys, is a homie. He's not a little homie like you got out of the vending machine things at the grocery store. But he is a homie. And apparently, very hard to find. Uh, series 1 of, uh, of the one that came out here. And I paid, like I said, 50 cents for this on a hunch at a garage sale. And I, I could have held out for a little bit more, but took an offer of $55.00. Plus shipping, 50 cents into 55 bucks. That's reselling, folks. Ghostbusters, and uh, we got one and two. Uh, not much here. I, I paid, I think it was 50 cents a piece for these and paired them up as one lot. They sold for $6.49 plus shipping. So not quite as good as a $55 turnaround, but still profit, right? Who's that? Well... It's, uh, you know, your answer might be Marilyn Monroe. And I guess that's technically correct. But at this point, she was still just Norma Jean. That's Norma Jean, later known as Marilyn Monroe. It's an old 11 by 14 reprint on a heavier like poster paper. And uh, I got a bunch of different pictures uh, like this. And uh, not surprising that this one sold. Norma Jean. Going out the door, 14 bucks plus shipping. We've got Bionicle. I picked up two in the box like this, and then some in these little, uh, like, tubes, basically. And I got a pretty okay deal on them. Uh, I bought a whole shelf of them for 65 bucks, And I have one more to list, I think. One of them wound up being incomplete, so we'll figure out what to do with that. Uh, I've got one more to list, but... We're already even. I mean, of course, you got to minus fees and I guess hold out money for taxes. And so if we want to get picky, I'm not quite even yet. But I paid 65 bucks for everything. Guess what? That guy sold for 65 bucks. Here we got a mobile oil hat, a little Pegasus on there. Pretty cool. Pick this up at an estate sale. And I accepted an offer on this guy of 20 bucks plus shipping. That's a Peppa Pig jet back there. The Holiday Jet took an offer on that of 10 bucks plus shipping. Here's a surprising winner, guys. Let me move our conch shell. It's so heavy. Okay. Cool patina on here. I really like it. I didn't even I I didn't want to try to clean it just because I like it. It's been sitting, as you can see. We've got some dust, so I'm going to have to clean this guy off a little bit. But just a very cool-looking statue. This is Ganesh, four-handed Hindu god. Got the, the elephant thing there, so he's he's recognizable. He'll, he'll be found in different forms, doing different things or whatever. But I uh, got this from a buddy here in town. He sold me some of his eBay inventory. And I just, I had a feeling on this guy. I knew it would be long tail, but it felt like something expensive. It felt like something that somebody at some point would want. And I had this listed for around $200. And it's been sitting for probably a year or more. And I saw I picked up a watcher on it. So I sent out what I thought was a pretty aggressive offer. Uh, you know, and, and open to counters, but I thought, let's see what happens. One seventy four ninety nine, they took it. One hundred and seventy five bucks for Ganesh. I'm dancing too. Thank you, sir. 
Here we've got a pair of jeans. These, a brand I didn't actually know before I found them out there. These are, where is it? There it is. Rock and Roll Denim. And it's pistol straight, regular straight leg. I found uh, two pair of these. This is a different size. I actually wound up keeping one of them. And they're very comfortable. So it makes sense because the sell-through rate on these is super super high you can uh, recognize them by the tag there it's right about 100 percent sell-through rate as i recall and i picked up a watcher on these they'd have sold at full price at some point because i priced them fairly but i wanted to move them out so i sent out an offer they took it 27.97 plus shipping uh, i paid i think five dollars for those at a sale we've got i almost knocked over our statue and kicked up all the dust off of it and we got area Remember that brand of the wall? There's the, the there's the logo, right there. Got this at the same sale as the jeans, actually. Uh, Ten dollars, I think, on this. It was still new with tags, and it had the right brand. It's a uh, concealed carry, so that's another thing going for it. Uh, it's the right, you know, it's an XL. It's got a lot of things going for it, and so not surprising that it sold pretty quickly. Forty five dollars sixty cents plus shipping, and then we've got one more. And another big seller here. This is a Department 56. Right there. There's the logo. A lot of Department 56 stuff, it's worth at least looking up because a lot of it can be valuable. This is the Patriot House. And this is retired. It's very hard to find. I think there's one other listing on eBay right now. I, I think maybe two, but I think there's just one. Now, mine had a little bit of damage. The... Uh, Two of the letters, I think U and S, I forget for sure, but two of the letters came unglued from the from the bush. You know, you can when you set it up, you just poke them in there and they stay there, and you could probably reglue it. But I mean, fact remains, there's a little bit of damage to it. I, I guess I could have fixed that, but uh, I, I listed it as it was. Nice thing is, it it comes with the original styrofoam, so much easier to ship this thing. You basically put it in a box at this point. And I did take an offer on this one. Now, part of the reason I took the offer is because it looked like we were going to be able to connect for a local pickup. And I wouldn't even have to worry about shipping it. The local pickup fell through, but they did pay shipping. And so I am going to ship it off and it is still relatively easy. So I'm not all, all that bummed. I mean, there's a little bit of a, oh man, because I, I thought I was just going to be able to hand it off. It made it much easier. But still, uh, it, it's still a good offer on this and it clears up a lot of space and when things are slower you know it, it's good to consider taking an offer maybe a little lower than what you would normally take and uh, it's still good money for this guy and it's all profit 150 dollars plus shipping for the department 56 patriot house let's take a look at the other stuff now that i sold this week and let's flash back to the past and here they are. We've got that handful. You know, just a small, easy things that I can pack really quickly and drop in the mail in the uh, in the box there in the post office just so that I don't have to take quite as many after a long holiday and some of them will get moving. And I figure it, it, it helps the algorithm a little, right? It sees activity that you're shipping. So might as well send out a couple like this one. We've got, uh, it's a Moonlight Graham is the tag. You can see it's got the old logo on there. You can kind of see that anyway. This is a uh, Boston Red Sox t-shirt, little ringer shirt. You got to go in there. And this one sold on an offer for 12 bucks plus shipping. We've got Just Dance 4 for the Wii, which actually has a really solid sell-through rate. Uh, this one, just the disc. And even that will sell very well. Four ninety eight dollars plus shipping. We've got... Star Wars The Phantom Menace, Ray Park there. This is the Steelbook, the harder metal case. Uh, a lot of people collect Steelbooks still. So uh, if, if you can find those out at sales or at thrift stores or whatever, and uh, it's a solid movie, uh, at least take a shot, you know, at least look at it and see if it's worth picking up because they do sell. Uh, this one, I took an offer of eight bucks plus shipping. Eventually would have got closer to 10, but was happy to move something out. We've got... The uh, Reign of the Supermen, not high dollar seller here, but $3.25 plus shipping. And then Kevin Costner in Revenge. Had never heard of this movie 
I found one new and sealed about uh, a month ago, and it sold very quickly. Found this one uh, randomly, and it sold as well. This thing sold actually in like, I don't know, a week, week and a half, something like that. Sold very quickly, even though it's used. $4.99 plus shipping. The sell-through on Kevin Costner Revenge, really strong. Maybe I should have watched it. I don't know. Game Boy Color. We've got, it doesn't show up real well on here, but this is a pink, a little bit of a berry pink color more than a red. And I got to double check. I think this one came with a game. I put one of them with uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. I picked up several of these this weekend, and I think it was this. I just got to double check the listing. But I put it with the game because the game doesn't sell by itself, really. And I uh, picked up a tub of different, uh, I think, four different Game Boys and some games. $25 fantastic deal and this one sold for $57.60 plus shipping we doubled our money on the first well this is the first thing that sold but first game boy that sold this sold out of it also donkey kong land for the game boy put it in uh, a, a little case and uh, that helps i mean i don't know how much that adds to it but adds a little bit of value i suppose at least it looks better and that sold for 9.98 plus shipping we've got a damn it doll headed out that's what they're called look right there that's what they're called and uh, these things they just continue to sell very well people like them uh, they go as gag gifts i i got this uh, not not a lot of profit on this because i got this from uh carry american arbitrage on a whatnot auction uh, i like to support uh different uh youtube reselling friends on there and he had an auction i bought two different damn it dolls i think i paid five bucks a piece for them so like i said not a lot of profit it sold on an offer for twelve dollars plus shipping and then we've got a mike allstott jersey from the tampa bay buccaneers this one i picked up at a garage sale uh two three weeks ago something like that and uh, i think i paid a couple dollars for it i accepted an offer of 22 plus shipping and as i'm packing up i realized we missed a couple we also have to get to some ducks that are going out of the mountain but a couple that i missed uh we've got ursula here it's plush on the bottom and then the top is like a pvc super cool figure and not surprising that it would sell right about now that's why i picked it up 24 dollars 96 cents plus shipping and then i actually also sold for the playstation a guitar hero guitar it's uh the the red octane i believe i've already got that thing boxed up but that sold for 35 dollars 19 cents plus shipping now let's do some ducks so here we got a few ducks going out. We sell ducks on the channel, of course. If you're new to the channel, you've got to have your ducks in a row if you're going to sell on eBay. Look at that. They're they're all in a row right there. And we help you do that. There's a duck to fit every taste, as you can see in our little mini lineup here. And 20% of every duck sale goes to the Gary Sinise Foundation to help severely wounded first responders and veterans. Very proud to be able to partner with them. And uh, here we've got a breast cancer awareness ribbon duck. And that one is headed out to Robert. And then we got a pair going out. The Mardi Gras duck. Look at that. We've got a couple of different Mardi Gras ducks. That one's cool. And then the little lion duck. And that set is going out to Lauren. So, Lauren, Robert, thank you so much. So pretty good, right? I'm I'm happy with that and some some newer stuff selling, which is always a good thing, showing you that you're picking up good things, and then some older stuff selling, which means that you're you're doing okay too, as long as you go in knowing some of that stuff is going to be longer tail. I don't mind hanging on to stuff like that. You can't have all the items in your shop be long tail. You got to have quick movers in there. Uh, maybe not even also maybe mostly, but having some long tail items isn't the worst thing in the world either. So I appreciate you guys. How did your weekend go? I, I hope your weekends went well, both in, in the selling aspect and in uh, the, the life aspect. Uh, we'll, we'll see how videos show up here on the channel over the next uh, what, about half a week or so. Mountain Kid graduating this weekend, family and friends coming in and uh, things a little bit hectic. So things might be a little sporadic on the channel. I'm not abandoning anybody. I'm just busy here at home. So uh, we'll see when we get the next one out to you. Hopefully 
very shortly. I'll see you guys.